Good morning. So it was uh, hit a little snafu yesterday. Uh, we had trail magic coming down from our last evening here in the parking lot behind me, and that video accidentally got deleted. But anyway, um, we're starting out this morning. We popped into town real quick yesterday. Um, did a quick resupply. Uh, got everything we needed for the next three days, and uh, we're at Winding Stair Gap. And this section right here actually goes along the road for a little piece. <clears throat> but anyway, yeah, no, it was great. Got to sleep in an actual bed last night, and we're back on trail this morning, making our way towards the NOC. So that'll be our <clears throat> our next resupply point, and we're off and hiking this morning. Anyway, we'll see you down the trail. So far, this section has been uh, a little more scenic than what it was the day we popped into town. This is pretty great. So, I thought the trail was going to be kind of exciting today. Uh, given the first couple little interesting features But yeah, I'm four miles into the day and it's just been monotonous So I haven't been filming much because this is what it looks like We've just been winding around and going up and down um, It's a steady climb, but uh, like I said, it's just been monotonous. There hadn't been much to see. So, when I find something good, I'll turn the camera back on. We'll see you later. So, the morning of monotony so far has come to a conclusion. This is the trail up Siler Bald. It is a bald mountain because there are few to zero trees on its peak, like a bald head. So this is a blue blaze. I am going up and this is not officially part of the Appalachian Trail, but I'm going to have a look-see and you're welcome to come along. So let's go. So this is the halfway point up Siler Bald, off the, up that blue blaze trail. It's a great view, crappy climb, but yeah, we still got a little ways to go. Okay, so to give you, <clears throat> this is a good example of the steepness. This pole is directly at my eye level. So this is probably almost a 45, almost a 45 degree incline. It's tough, but we're gonna make it. So this is the top of Siler Bald, and this direction is where we came from. Spin it around, and you should see a cell phone tower back here that's gonna be wire bald and then a saddle to your right and the hump in that saddle in the far on the far horizon is going to be the area of Klingman's Dome and the Smoky Mountains so we're going from the past all the way to the future just from this one bald pretty amazing anyway enjoy the view
Trail magic on the top of Waya Bald. And we're fixing to go up the Waya Tower. Show you around a little bit. Inside there is a shelter. And it echoes. All right, let's go up. What a view. Airport down there. Oh, this is amazing. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Second ball in a day. And this one was better than the first. So if I'm not mistaken, see if I can find it. Oh, there it is right there. There is Siler Bald. I'm pretty sure that's the one we went up this morning. So, yeah, we had to go all the way down that uh, and to the, I guess, the gap that's between these two mountains and then come up the backside. So... It was a hell of a slog. Uh, now it's going to be downhill for the rest of the day, and we're going to try to end up around. <coughs> try to end up around 12 miles, uh, and uh, get us that much closer to the NOC, the Nantahala Outdoor Center. That way, uh, we can try to avoid some rain or uh, get as little of the rain as possible that's coming through. In the next couple of days so i'm gonna put this down and get to moving we'll see you later shadows are getting long this afternoon <clears throat> sun's uh i got about let's see oh it's just six o'clock about two hours till dark um actually a little longer than that but good light another two hours um I got the trail pretty much to myself this evening so far and uh we're making our way it looks like we're gonna finish up another 12 mile a little over 12 mile day i think it's like 12 5 or something like that but uh yeah great day i think i'm hoping that uh my trail legs are finally coming in and i can start putting down some bigger mileage than what i have been in the previous days i guess you could say we had two three day stretches where we did 12 miles eight miles and then four miles and then pop into town to resupply but we got uh, a total of 27.3 miles to get to the noc and uh i'd like to put down some miles because we got like i said earlier we got some rain coming in i'd like to get to the knock uh, even though it'd be raining, at least I'll be able to dry off. So, anyway, on we go. Through, uh, two bald mountains. Midday was pretty rough. Uh, it was a slog up that second, uh, bald which was uh wire bald had some trail magic up there which was pretty freaking awesome um feel good legs are doing great uh i'm i feel like i'm progressing as far as my trail legs go so uh yeah maybe we can do a little more mileage starting relatively soon uh Total of this leg is 27.3, I believe, to the NOC, and I mentioned that earlier. So minus 12 and a half, we're almost halfway there, just under. Uh, we'll probably get wet on the third day, and uh, we'll go to the knock and dry out. Anyway, uh, I'm going to get a little supper and call it a night, and we'll see you.
time to get our bear hang down from the tree. So we're gonna eat some breakfast. It's about 7 a.m. and we're gonna try to get this day started. We'll see you down the trail. A little morning view. Noon on the dot, dropping in a teleco gap, and you may hear voices. That's because there be trail magic in the gap. Time to eat. And everything under the sun is in tune and the sun is eclipsed by the moon pretty awesome up on top of a mountain and I get to see the eclipse of 2024 awesome so it's been a pretty chill afternoon um, got some trail magic uh, down in Teleco Gap uh, went to what 1.2 miles I think it was up to the Westerbald fire tower chilled out there for a while watched some of the eclipse and <clears throat> this is part of the descent off of Westerbald we're gonna push for oh wow that was uh, unintended anyway um we're gonna push for another big day today. Uh, let's see, I think we should end the, the day with our biggest day yet. I'll have to calculate the mileage once I get there, but um, it'll leave me with uh, about 0.3 miles, I think, or 0.5 miles into the Nantahala Outdoor Center, which will be my next resupply point. So uh, getting stronger, making more miles, and uh, Yep, we're making it happen. Anyway, we'll see y'all later. morning it's raining we got uh, 0.3 miles to make it into the NOC this morning so uh, trying to get up and moving it's not raining bad but anyway we got to make it happen so we'll see you in a bit all right, finally on the trail this morning. We're just being lazy this morning. Got uh, 0.8 to the NOC, which is the Nantahala Outdoor Center. Um, pop in, we're gonna do a resupply, do some laundry, dry everything out, because now we're wet. But uh, yeah, gonna be a short day but a lot of chores to get done and be back on trail tomorrow hopefully got some bad weather coming in later this week and it will probably catch us midway between the NOC and Fontana Dam so it's going to be an adventurous week but anyway 
We'll see you down the trail. I guess we gotta go over the bridge and cross right here. The NOC! You made it! <laughs>